Good morning, and what a wonderful morning it is. It's 9.30am on this Sunday morning on the 2nd of May 2021, May being the best month of the year of course. Those of you that know me will know why I say that. I've come back to Taddington today, uh, and I'm going to do another lovely walk from Taddington. Now, I have some friends who live here. I won't mention their names, but they know who they are. So anyway, a quick look around Tannington again, and then I'll just get on with the walk. Tannington sits high on the central limestone plateau of the White Peak, alongside the A6 between Ashford-in-the-Water and Buxton and within the boundaries of the Peak National Park. It is one of England's highest villages at over 1,100 feet. Taddington's landscape is dominated by rocky limestone outcrops and surrounded by wild and windswept moorland. The whole village stretches out below, running from west to east down the long and narrow sloping dale, whilst to the north the view extends beyond Hucklow Edge and eastward over the thickly wooded Taddington Dale to Finn Cop. From the main street, I took a path along the edge of a field, leading onto a broad walled track. I was making my way towards the A6, which bypasses the village. The A6 was fairly quiet at this time of the morning, but I was still cautious as I crossed it to the other side to reach another track. I was heading northeast as the track gently rose, rewarding me with great views. I always enjoy coming on my walks, but it's especially nice to come out today. I've had a very frustrating couple of weeks. I've basically spent the last two weeks trying to sort out specific software on my computer, which, for whatever reason, after eight months, has decided to not work on my current computer. And to cut a long story short, after having exchanged emails with the software company over the last two weeks and just going round and round and going nowhere fast, it looks like it might be the actual computer that might be causing the problem. I don't know, but... It's just really annoying because you can't talk to anybody at the software company. All you can do is send an email and then it's usually a day or two before they reply to you. And it just goes on and on like that. And then in the end, they, ask, they end up asking you questions that they've asked you in the first place. I think, well, I've already told you that. So you just go round and round and round and round and get nowhere. So I've actually been feeling quite run down lately, to be honest with you, as a result. So it looks like... I might have to just buy a new computer and hopefully that'll work. Yeah, it's just, just so frustrating. My language has been terrible. I would not wish to actually convey my language to you, but <laughs> I'm surprised my flat didn't crumble down because of all the shouting I did in frustration and swearing and all this. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I think today's walk is gonna do me a lot of good in that respect, just to get out and get out in the fresh air. You can't beat it. As the track slowly swung round in a northwesterly direction, I came to an old derelict building, in which I decided to quickly explore. Ah, fascinating. I do, I do like these ruined old buildings. Uh, they, they sort of still add character to the landscape, I think. And a tree growing out of the floor, <laughs> which was probably the kitchen at one time. Excellent. Continuing along the track, I was soon approaching the next hamlet. Well, 
priest cliff now then. So path meanders around here and then I turn off along here. Ah. Lovely. What a nice walk. <laughs> As all my walks are. Very nice. Priestcliff stands on the opposite side of the A6, alongside the tiny hamlet of Brushfield. Within living memory, there were dairy herds at Priestcliff and Brushfield, and hundreds of gallons of milk every day were carted down to Millersdale Station and sent by train to bottling plants in Manchester and Liverpool. I took the track passing Lydgate Farm, signposted to Millersdale. Ah, as always, wonderful views on my walks in the Peak District. In fact, there aren't many places in the Peak District where you don't get wonderful views. No. Just over there, I can see a road going up to Wormhill. And down in the valley, which is hidden from view at the moment, is Millersdale. Monksdale up there, winding its way northwards and over that way somewhere you can't quite see it but it's the village of Tideswell another beautiful village ah. oh well I'll carry on now towards Millersdale as I carried on I had spectacular views as the path dropped down steeply into Blackwell Dale. Okay, now that I've reached this road, I'm just on the outskirts of Miller's Dale, which is just down the hill there out of sight. But I'm not going to Miller's Dale today. Just down there is the River Wye. So I'm gonna go just at the road that way and take a path that takes me down towards the Wye in a westerly direction. There's the River Wye down there. And just there, not really clear because of the trees, but there's the viaduct. The Maltzell Trail's going over the viaduct. I'm just about to join it now. I'm only crossing over the Monsal Trail now. I'm not actually going to be following any of it today. But uh, apart from this viaduct, I want to have a look at that just there. And that's the entrance to Cheetor Tunnel. One of the few tunnels that reopened about 10 years ago. Excellent. I'm not going through the tunnel because I'm going to carry on following the footpath and walk alongside the River Wye, but I will see the other side of Cheetor Tunnel a bit later on. From the Monsal Trail, I followed a descending trot across a hillside meadow to reach a footbridge over the River Wye. I was now at the mouth of Cheedale. On the opposite bank, I headed up river to explore Cheedale. Cheedale is a steep-sided gorge on the River Wye and has a protected nature reserve overseen by Derbyshire Wildlife Trust. 
Despite the rocky and in places very difficult path, I've always found Cheedale absolutely fascinating. Lots of people walking up and down Cheedale, struggling with the rocky path. Wait till we go on a bit further. It'll get even trickier then. Really nice, because I've just seen a colleague from work. I've not seen... Well, she started with us last year when we were in the first lockdown, so I've not actually seen her in the flesh until now, since she's actually started working with us. So it was lovely. So we had a bit of a catch-up. Ah, it's still... There's still some sense of normality coming back, isn't there, really? Just seeing more people out and about and... Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now, this is where Cheedale is getting more and more interesting the further up river I go. I'm really looking forward to this next bit. It's been a long time since I walked along this path, so I hope it's as I remember it from the last time. Yep, this is the bit I've been looking forward to. was fun. I remember those stepping stones the very first time I visited the Peak District, long before I moved to the area. I'm glad to see that they're still here because that's what makes this walk so fascinating. Okay, there are some more just around the corner, but for now that's the Monsell Trail above me, so I'm just going to go up and see the other side of Cheetor Tunnel. After the path had crossed to the opposite side of the river and passed below the viaduct, I turned off at the next junction, doubling back a little as I climbed up onto the Monsell Trail. So here we are then, at the other side of Cheetor Tunnel. Of course, the first time I came here, that tunnel was closed. Just here, Cheetor number two tunnel. That one always has been open though. I think it was just the long tunnels that were closed for a long time. Yeah, I can remember walking through that tunnel myself a long time ago. Well, I could follow the Monsell Trail now and sort of follow it as far as Blackwell Mill, which is where it starts and finishes. But I'm gonna go back down to the Y and walk along the Riverside Path back up to a bit more of Cheedale, because there's a bit more exciting stuff to see down there. Retracing my steps down to the riverside path, I continued to follow it upstream through Cheedale, soon crossing another footbridge to the opposite bank again. I was now approaching another exciting part of the walk. And here we are again. I'm sure those stepping stones were deeper in the water when I came here the first time. This is what I remember about my very first holiday in the Peak District when I was 19 years old. Walking along Cheedale and then suddenly finding that the path disappears and becomes stepping stones. You have to put one hand on the cliff. 
if I remember rightly, I did that holiday at the end of March 1986, so the weather would have been probably wet, well it was wetter, and uh, so the water levels might have been higher. But I just remember it being a little bit more, I just remember the stones being a bit more submerged in the water at that time. And then of course it was the first time I encountered them, so it would have made an impression on me then. I'm sure the stepping stones are more uniform now than they used to be. They seem a lot more square than I remember. Still a wonderful part of the war though. Absolutely unmissable. Over 300 feet deep, and at one point completely taken up by the river, Cheedale is one of the most spectacular sections of the River Wise Valley. I carried on upstream along the riverside path, passing beneath a couple more of the impressive viaducts carrying the Monsell Trail. <laughs> Monsell Trail, going above me again there. I just find the riverside path much more interesting really. I mean, there's nothing wrong with going along the old cycleway, say, especially for cyclists. It must be great going through those tunnels now. But I just find the riverside path much more interesting. Okay, well it's 20 past three, so I need to get a move on. I'm nearly back at Blackwell Mill, which is where the Monsell Trail ends anyway, but I'm gonna just steeply cut, cut across and then I'll be going back to Tannington. So yeah, I better put the pace on. My path soon came to the end of Cheedale, as I reached its meeting point with Great Roxdale and Wydale. In the centre of this meeting point lies Blackwell Mill Cottages. Well, I must admit, I was not expecting any rain today. I don't think that was forecast, but to be fair, it seems to be going away now. That was a shower, quite a heavy shower. It's brightening up a bit. It's a lovely spot here by Blackwell Mill, I think. Yeah. Right, I really had better get on and back to Taddington. <laughs> As I put the pace on, I crossed the Monsell Trail one last time, then took a footpath zigzagging steeply up the hillside. I paused for a moment to enjoy a spectacular view over where I had earlier walked before continuing my climb. Well, it's 10 to 5, and I'm just arriving back in Taddington where I started the walk. It's been a long day. I mean, it's been very enjoyable, but I did think that I'd probably finish around half past three. But no, it's uh, taking me a bit longer today, but that's no complaint because it's been a lovely walk. And it's not like, I, not like I've got a rush to go home. I've got tomorrow off because it's bank holiday Monday anyway, so nobody's working tomorrow. Uh, actually, I've got the whole week off. <laughs> Well, I did say earlier that May is the best month of the year. Well, of course, it's because my birthday's in May. And my birthday is also this week, it's on Thursday. So I've got the whole week off. I always, I don't think I've ever worked on my birthday. And because my birthday generally always falls in the May Day Bank Holiday Week, I've always thought, well, I may as well just take the whole week off and make the most of it. So that's what I'm doing. And I've got a, a relative coming to stay with me on Tuesday. That's the first time I've had somebody coming to stay with me for nearly two years. And that'll be great because obviously this past year has been awful for all of us. And with some normality sort of in sight now, it's great that you can start having visitors now to a limited degree. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to having somebody coming to stay with me and enjoy my birthday with a member of my family. It's going to be great. So yeah. And hello to my friends here in Taddington. Look forward to spending some time with you soon and having a beer inside a pub soon. Good stuff. What a great day. <laughs> <laughs>